Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fully transfer your Windows operating system and data to another storage drive without losing your Windows license and without losing any files or applications. The new storage drive in this case could be an SSD or a traditional mechanical hard disk, it doesn't matter. This process creates an exact replica of the contents of your computer on another disk. Some people call it cloning, some call it mirroring. Now, there are several possible reasons why you may want to do this. The most common use recently has been for upgrading from mechanical hard disk, that's HDD, to an SSD to improve speed and performance. Now, other possible uses include when replacing a failing hard drive. A quick way to identify a failing hard drive is when you begin to hear some glitchy sounds or clinking sounds from your hard disk as it spins. Then you should consider purchasing another storage disk and then using this process to completely transfer all you have on your old disk to the new one. More interestingly, it's also possible to use this process to mirror your PC to another PC. In other words, having two computers with the same exact contents. This could come in handy if you want to upgrade to another laptop but would want to retain every single content of your old laptop. However, there are some important precautions to take when doing this. I'll be explaining that later in the video. For this tutorial, I'll be using this approach to demonstrate how to upgrade to a larger storage disk without losing anything. Here, as you can see, my disk bar is in red, so I'm fast running out of disk space. I'm currently using a 120GB SSD, so now I'm going to be upgrading to a 240GB SSD. It's a pretty straightforward process, and without any delays, let's jump right into it. So first, here are the tools we'll be using for this process. A screwdriver for disassembling your laptop hard drive cover. A USB SATA adapter cable like this, you will find a link from where you can purchase this down in the description and of course your new hard drive or SSD as the case may be. With that, the next step would be to download a free OS migration tool. There are several of them online, but for this tutorial, I'll be using the mini tool partition wizard. I've used this tool in a previous tutorial and like I mentioned, it's quite easy to use and reliable. Luckily, they do have a free version of this software and that is what I'll be using in this tutorial. To download, open your browser and search mini tool partition wizard free. Then click on this first link from the search result. I will also add a link to the video description. On this page, click on download and wait for the download to complete. After the download, run the installation file by double clicking. Then select your preferred language and hit OK. Accept the license terms and hit next, next, next. Here you can choose whether or not you want to create a desktop shortcut, hit next, next, and then install. Now before the next step, connect your new disk or SSD to the laptop using the USB SATA adapter cable. And then finish and then on this page you want to choose mini tool partition wizard free then it will take you to this partition wizard page here you will find a list of all the drives you have currently attached to your pc in a numerical order usually this one is your c drive from where you run your main operating system then the other drives will be your secondary hard drives or any other drives you have attached to your usb it also shows some more detailed information about each disk, the partitions, the capacity, the used and unused space, and a lot more. Here we're going to choose Migrate OS to SSD or HD. Then on this next window, it gives you two migration options. The first option allows you to copy your operating system as well as your disk partitions from your current disk to a new disk. While the second option allows you to move only the partition with your operating system to your new disk. So this first option offers you a total migration of your Windows operating system together with all your applications, personal files and folders, as well as your Windows settings to your new disk or SSD. 
So this will be the option if you are replacing your hard drive with another hard drive or SSD as we are doing in this case. The second option allows only your operating system to be moved to your new disk, leaving your applications and personal files on the old disk after the migration. With that said, here I'm going to choose the first option and hit next. Then it asks me for the destination drive, which in this case is the new 240GB SSD. Then I will hit next. And then here it reminds me that all the data on the disk will be destroyed. Are you sure you want to continue? I will hit yes. It then shows a summary of the selection. So I chose to fit the partition to the entire disk. I'm cloning to disk 2, which is my 240GB SSD. And now here I will hit next. It then informs me to configure my BIOS to boot from the destination disk when next I boot up. I will explain that in more detail later, but here I will hit finish. And then it returns me to this main page where I will now hit apply on the top right corner. And then a note pops up recommending that I close all applications before applying the changes. So here if you have any applications running, just close it down and hit OK to start the migration process. If you get past this stage, then just wait for the migration process to run as supposed. However, oftentimes you will get this notification saying the operation copy partition can be completed because the drive C is being used now. It's okay to get this notice mainly because some background processes running on your laptop makes your C drive appear too busy for the process. So it offers you three options. You either restart, retry or cancel the process. Here I will choose restart now and then wait for the partition wizard to automatically perform the migration process upon restarting. This process will take a while depending on the amount of data you have on your disk and also the performance of your laptop. With higher performance laptop in terms of your processor and RAM, this process could be a lot faster. Also, if you have a USB 3.0 port, then you should definitely use it. It will fasten the process substantially compared to a USB 2.0 port. Here I will fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so the migration process is now complete. Now we'll finally proceed to the process of actually swapping the old 120 gig SSD with the new 240 gig SSD. Before we do that, here are a few important warnings. First, we had a note to configure the BIOS to boot from the destination disk when next we boot up. Now here's what that implies. Most likely your default BIOS settings is to boot up from your main drive, which is the drive C. So if you are replacing your hard disk with an SSD or one SSD with another SSD as I'll be doing in a moment, then you don't want to change your BIOS settings. It will automatically boot from the drive it finds attached to your main disk connector. The second thing is the issue of activation or Windows license. First, let's understand what this disk migration implies. It basically means we have successfully copied our Windows to another drive. So we have the same copy of Windows on two separate drives, both activated with the same digital license. As you can see in this case, if we go to check the activation status of the Windows on the hard disk,
it says here that Windows is activated with digital license. After I swap the new SSD, we'll see that the copy of Windows on the SSD is equally activated with the same digital license. Now, this doesn't imply that you can run the two copies of Windows on two separate machines. And with that said, let's go ahead and swap the old 120GB SSD with the 240GB. First, I will shut down the laptop. Now I will try to locate the hard drive compartment. Most laptops would have it underneath. So carefully unscrew to uncover the hard drive. Now I'll remove the old SSD and plug in the new one. Tighten back loose screws and then I'm good to go. As you can see from my laptop, all files and folders are exactly as I had them on the old SSD. All my settings, including my Wi-Fi credentials, were preserved. And now let's go ahead and check the Windows activation status. Here, as you can see, it says Windows is activated with a digital license. So I have successfully transferred my entire system from the old SSD to a new SSD without having to reinstall Windows and without losing any files, applications or settings. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you could also use this process to mirror one laptop to another. So say you want to get a new laptop to replace an old one and you want to maintain the exact same data and settings on the previous one. Then in addition to all the processes already described in this video, you will also need the new license key for the new laptop because usually when you move your clone disk to another laptop, it will lose the previous license because the license is somehow tied to the laptop hardware as well. So moving the software to another laptop would require a separate activation for such laptop. The same goes with your paid apps. You should ensure you have the required licenses backed up before mirroring your laptop to another laptop. However, if your new laptop has the Windows license embedded to the chipset, then it will automatically pick up the new license without having to key it in once you connect to the internet. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.